Welcome to this guide on the use of the Automated System for Data Collection ASDC, developed in the framework of the FAO Locus program in Caucasus and Central Asia. This video will help you get started with ASDC and ensure proper use of the application. To start using ASDC, the application must be installed on the selected device. ASDC will work on all Android tablets and smartphones. To install ASDC, open the Play Store and search for ASDC. The application can be recognized thanks to the Locus logo. Now, tap on Install and wait for the installation to complete. You are ready to start using ASDC. To open the application, press the Launch button. Otherwise, Find the link on your home screen or applications tab. Note that your experience might differ based on the Android version. On the first page of the ASDC application, you will see three fields. For now, tap on Settings. On this page, you can tap on the Synchronize button to sync your data and select the desired language. To change language, Tap on the desired selection. When changing language, the application must be restarted for the changes to take effect. To correctly use ASDC, you will have to keep the location settings active. To activate it, scroll down with your finger from the top of the screen. Scroll down again and tap on the location icon. Otherwise, navigate to the settings, tap on location, and finally tap on Turn on Location. Lastly, ensure that your mobile data is turned on and you are connected to the internet. Once you have completed the application's initial setup, you can start using ASDC. The application might request to allow the use of different system devices. Please tap on Allow while using the app to continue using ASDC. Let's take a look to the local survey form. To create a new form, tap on the local survey form on ASDC's main screen. Now press on the three dots on the top right corner or the plus symbol on the bottom right corner and select Add. This form must be completing doing field work. The form is divided into different sections. Tap on a field and write or select the necessary information to fill out the form. Let's see how the photo field works. ASDC allows you to save up to three pictures. The photo field allows you to take a picture, show the picture shot and finally remove the picture if required. To take a picture, press on the camera button. You'll be prompted with a photo screen. To take a picture, focus the camera and snap a picture with a shown button. Please note that photos must be informative and reflect the local situation. Let's take a look to the location section. This section is fundamental and will help to map and locate survey and control operations in the future. To add a location, use your smartphone's GPS to acquire your location. Before performing this operation, please ensure that your GPS is active on your smartphone. Now, press on the Shown Location button. This will autofill the Location section. Press on the Shown Map button to find previously surveyed areas or calculate the area if there are more than three GPS points around the surveying site. Specific sections will add additional fields to the survey questionnaire, such as selecting eggs, hoppers, bands, adults or swarms. If that is the case, proceed by inserting the request information in the form. Not all entries are required to submit the form, but those that are denoted by a red asterisk next to the form field must be filled out to complete the form. Please remember that the more information is provided, the better. Therefore, fill out all entries relevant to the task at hand. ASDC's second form is the Spray Monitoring form. This form must be filled out during control operations. This form functions similarly 
to the locus survey form. Please insert as much information as possible. Once the form is filled out with all the required data, the form is ready to be submitted. To submit the form, ensure that the data is correct and press the Save button. If the submission is unsuccessful, there are two main warnings a user can receive. The first one will appear if not all the required data was inserted correctly. To solve this issue, fill out all the fields denoted by a red asterisk. The second error warning will appear if a number is incorrect or exceeds the limit numerical values. Values, for instance for infested and surveyed areas, can range between 1 and 1000. In the list of locus survey or spray monitoring forms, you'll be able to see all the forms you have prepared. The forms can have three statuses. The first status is waiting to be filled. In this case, data is still missing in the form. The second case is not submitted. The form is ready to be sent, but is waiting for a connection. The third one is submitted. The form was successfully submitted to the server. Thank you for following this brief introduction to the use of ASDC. Wishing you successful local operations in the future.